Hello my friends, my name is John and I'm uh, here going to show you some columnar apples. So these are most definitely, most definitely productive uh, apples or apple trees. There's a lot of flowering that's happening on these trees. We are having some bad weather though, a little cool and uh, they're right in the middle of flowering so I'm hoping the bees do a wonderful job pollinating or if they I guess if the weather stays bad here in the, in the next day or two I'm going to grab some crabapple uh, flowers and go through and physically uh, pollinate these so this is a I believe it's a tasty red if I'm not mistaken yeah tasty red um, this is a columnar apple and it produces a lot of apples on it Perfect for landscaping. It doesn't go out wide, just a nice tall column full of apples. Beautiful. And they're all delicious. They're different varieties, just as many as regular uh, apple trees. So we'll go to, to the next one. These are these are actually also apple. This is the the giant, giant apple tree. The giant apple, apple tree. So there's one here, one there, and they're full of flowers, full of bloom. There's still plenty that haven't opened. This, by the way, is called the king flower, the, right here, right in the center. There's, uh, I think there's one and there's five around it. It opens first. That's how all the apples see right here as well. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five flowers around the center flower. That's the king flower right there. Pretty cool. That's how apples fruit. There's a bunch in there. So the center one opens and then the rest of them open up. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. It's amazingly, amazingly beautiful. There's another columnar apple. This is a green, green type. It's a little wider, but still within three foot. And they go up to about 15 feet or so. This one is like maybe 10 feet. Another beautiful tree. Some my other apple trees. This is a honey crisp. It's a really short short tree but it's producing a lot of a lot of fruit so I got some stakes right here supporting the branches this is my uh, Arkansas's black this apple is so red that it's black and it's got a lot of flower and I'm as far as the pollinizer for it I think it's a triploid um, need to I already forgot about it, but this is a triploid and it needs specific pollination because of the, the regular apple tree, you can't pollinate it. This is a columnar right here. Same thing within 10 feet, tons of flower. Really, really nice. That's actually very beautiful out here. Look at this. Look at the clouds. My gosh, looks so nice. But there's a red delicious, very productive tree. And this is another columnar, which is full, full, full of flower. That's what makes these very, very nice for landscaping because they don't take up space at all. And they look beautiful when they're blooming and they look beautiful with fruit on them. Just amazing.
there's another one it actually bloomed quite a bit last year so maybe it's resting this year but it has some flower there isn't too much on top but but this one is growing in the shade completely it still does fine it's uh, almost like a granny smith apple but it's called tangy green but it tastes like a granny smith And this is a crab apple. Very, very productive, full of flowers. And it's a really good pollinizer for just about all the apples. It blooms throughout the whole apple blooming season. And it's a uh, very very high in the pollen, pollen amount. I think it's got about 15 times more pollen than the regular apple flower, so the, the, it's a great pollinizer for other varieties. So in, in the case that the, the weather is bad, I'm going to choose a flower that has uh, the most freshest pollen. So like that. I'll take it and I'll go to this apple and I'll touch it like this there's bees flying everywhere so I'm assuming they're they're pollinate, pollinate, pollinating the flowers but there's still so many unopened that I wish the weather was better So yeah, go through from tree to tree and uh, pollinate all the flowers. But it seems like the sun's kind of peeking out and the bees are getting out there. So yeah, my name is John. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Uh, share, share with friends. Leave comments for any any comments that you want to leave or any suggestions or for future videos or something on particular videos and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. My name is John once again and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.